This video is sponsored by Squarespace. What's going on, party people? It's Emily, and we have a pretty big day ahead of us. Thus, the list. Like, where do I even start? Unfortunately, one of the things on this list is Lego shopping. You guys know how much I hate shopping for Lego. It's Memorial Day weekend, and Ross's mom is coming to visit. And it might also be her birthday. <laughs> Y'all know how much I love gifting Lego to people. It's like one of my absolute favorite things. And so for her birthday, we're gonna gift her the Lego Orchid. And I figure while we're out, while we're already at the store, we can check out if they have any early sets. There's so many sets coming out June 1st. Like honestly, it's so hard keeping track of everything coming soon. And so I'm really hoping that we can find some early sets on the shelves. Nothing in this life quite matches the thrill of early Lego hunting or rather like early Lego hunting when you actually find stuff. Otherwise it's kind of boring. <laughs> But before we go, I actually have a lot of updates for you guys. Ross's Lego room is a slight mess because he's been working on a lot of videos, but this display wall is really coming along so good. We actually have two of these Ikea shells along the top, with some of the new Ninjago sets on either side, the botanicals, and then Rivendell. We did remove it from the Lego City. Go check out that video if it's not out yet. And then he included a lot of lifestyle and Lego Star Wars sets. I think it looks really good. Like it's really colorful and it definitely pops, but we're having a little bit of an issue with the Ewok Village here and just kind of making it look not cluttered. It's a little cluttered as it is right now, but I don't really know how to fix it. He's also been building a lot of furniture because essentially long term, we don't want this thing under there. We want to have some of these drawers. And so it'll just be like a very clean area to work in. I know we've talked about this in previous videos, but um, Ross really likes Minecraft. It's kind of his thing now. And he's had a lot of fun helping me out with Lego reviews on Mr. Saurus, but he also has another channel, Anti Stud, that's coming soon. That's basically just going to be a bunch of Minecraft mocks, I think. I'm pretty sure it's Minecraft mocks. Ross is downstairs playing music right now. It's really loud, but check out the current state of the Lego City. Do y'all see this? I know it probably doesn't look that different, honestly, but it's very different. We bagged up Middle Earth. I don't know where it is, but it's gone. I don't know where Ross put it. And we have so many fun plans for this area now. We have the Disney train and station. Actually, I didn't even put these here. Ross is at it again in the city, but it actually looks really nice here. I'm very happy with that. I am a little worried about this fitting underneath. It fits. It's okay. And I've started bringing out some of the sets that I would like to include in this new space. Essentially what we're doing here is like a really fun, unique, colorful Lego city area. I absolutely love bright, colorful things. So of course I need that in my Lego city. And before we like didn't really have that, I guess like maybe a little bit in this nature area, but it's not as colorful as I would like it to be. So uh, yeah, definitely stay tuned. Lego city has a lot of progress coming. Also, I've um, decided to tape a road mic to this <laughs> wand. It's like one of those giant Lego pieces from the Target collab a few years ago. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Ignore the AC. It's pretty loud, but um, this is where we put all of our amusement park rides in the meantime. I'm not really sure how to incorporate them into the Lego City. Like, they're just so big and bulky, but I also don't want to get rid of them or bag them up because they make me so happy. Also some fun things might have arrived in the mail. I'm not as excited for this one. I do love Belle though. Hashtag, we want a Belle minifig, please. But then the Disney princess battle pack. It looks really nice. I'm excited to build it. Mini dolls look incredible. This is actually the first time we're ever getting a Pocahontas. But also, hashtag Belle minifigure, please. We even have Gaston at this point. I haven't actually built him yet, but look at that. Gaston, that's amazing. Wait, so actually I came to a realization. So Ross's mom's birthday is coming up and I actually got this brand new Lego birthday cake set. I feel like this would be so fun to build with her. And his mom's not like a huge Lego person at all. So I feel like this will be really doable to all build together. This was sent by Lego, by the way. So thank you so much, Lego. I just think this set is so cute. I'm really excited to build it with her. We're gonna build as a family. I know I said earlier that we were planning on getting the orchid for his mom, but we still don't have an orchid. This is pretty much all the botanicals that we have. And I really want one. So maybe we can build that one together as well, but then we keep it. What do you think, Ross? She's holding me here against my will. You're having a puppy party. All right, so this weekend's Memorial Day weekend, which means I have a lot of pressure on me. I'm hosting for my family. We have a barbecue. It's a really big deal. I got to mow the lawn. I clean the kitchen. I marinated the steaks already. I got to put all the beverages in the fridge. There's a lot that can go wrong here, and uh, so I'm getting a little bit nervous about it, but I think I'll be able to pull through. You're going to do great, Ross. You have this one to support you. Is that right, Ladybird? 
<laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. I also had a lot of dog poop to pick up. Oh yeah, well there's that too. Okay, so now I think it's time to go Lego shopping. Sparkle, 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 sparkle. First stop today, Walmart. I don't know what it is about this Walmart, but I get really lucky when I'm early Lego hunting. And there's so many sets releasing from pretty much every theme. So I'm, I'm feeling lucky today. We'll see how it goes. A lot of the main things that I'm after from the June release though are Lego store exclusives or like D to C sets. Like the new Ninjago set. Can we fangirl over that for like half a second? I still am not fortunate enough to own Ninjago City docks, but this new Ninjago City set looks so good. Good. like I want that in my city right now so definitely buying that one on June 1st or whenever it comes out some of the June releases are kind of all over the place so I don't really know and then another one's the buildable minifigure I love that concept like building this giant Lego icon that's so cool I feel like there's a few others as well that are like D to C sets but I can't remember right now and we were fortunate enough to get a lot of the Lego sets early from Lego, so thank you so much to them. I can't wait to build them if I haven't built them already. But there was some sort of shipping mishap with the Lego City Wave and the Lego Friends Wave. So those aren't here yet, and I really want to build them. Plus, I feel like it's the kind of thing you could get multiples of. Like, all of the new molded sea creatures look incredible. There's an orca, like... I can't believe that exists. It's Shamu. And then the Friends Greenhouse as well will look so good in a Lego city. Anyways, y'all, we made it into the Lego aisle. We are inside Walmart and let's see if they do have anything new on the shelves. I'm usually pretty lucky here, but so far I'm not seeing anything new. I'm mainly looking for Lego Friends and Lego City sets because Ross really wants those molded animals. They look incredible. There's also a brand new wave of Lego Harry Potter, but I'm not seeing that out here yet. Jurassic World has a new wave as well as Jurassic Park. I believe. I think that's all coming out at the same time. And then Ninjago also has a new wave coming soon. Literally every theme has new stuff coming. It's wild. Absolutely wild. Looks like they have an orchid here and it's on sale, I think. Maybe it's originally 60. I can't remember. I've been wanting this Lego orchid set for a long time, but we do keep giving it away as gifts to like friends and family. But this one's mine. <laughs> That's kind of disappointing. This is pretty much all they had that I'm after today. There was no early Lego at this location. Kind of a bummer, but also you can't be too disappointed. It's still early. Okay, wait, never mind. They actually have the whole wave of new sets. <laughs> Let me show you. I didn't see these initially. They're like on the opposite side of the Lego in this aisle. Um, but I'm pretty sure these are all the new Ninjago sets. There's also like three more giant shelves full of these. It's all Ninjago here, but it is early, which is pretty exciting. And they have my favorite set from the wave here as well. Tons of Dragons 2, the Destiny's Bounty. I love it. It looks so good. And then over here as well, there's another whole stack of these. It's like kind of crazy. But also something else I want to pick up while I'm here are sticky notes. Let me put that down for a second. My therapist was telling me that like, if you put sticky notes around your room with like little phrases on them that make you happy or like nice things people have said in the past, then it'll help you feel better and you can like look at it when you're sad. So I wanna find some sticky notes that are like super bright and fun to like put around my room. I think this color palette is the vibe I'm going for. I have my Lego and now it's time for us to go check out, I think. <sighs> Story time. I got to the register. I was ready to check out. I scanned all my stuff. I opened my little purse and there was no wallet. So I don't have any money. I need to go home because <laughs> I need money. Ugh. And I just got a new phone. So like Apple Pay isn't set up or anything. And also I've never used Apple Pay. So I don't even know how it works. So I'm just going to go home, get my wallet and then go to Target because they have the Orchid too and sticky notes too probably. Go me. This sucks. All right, we're going to Target now. Wait, actually, I want a little snacky snack. It's just one of those days, you know? I feel like we've all had those days. I think I've learned that I should finally figure out how to do Apple Pay on my phone. The thought of doing so just like scares me a little bit. I don't know why. But now we're actually going to Target. We just made it to Target. Today's going absolutely fantastic. Let's tr ugh. try this again. I actually have money this time. This just really hasn't been my week. You know what I mean? Heading inside, grab a basket. The sticky notes are towards the front, so we're gonna start there. I think I like this color palette the best, so I have my sticky notes. I just got to the Lego aisle at Target. We're in the Lego Friends section right now and I don't see anything new yet. Really the main thing that I'm after is that brand new greenhouse. It looks so good. This obviously isn't it, but I just feel like that greenhouse is gonna look so good in the city, especially if you combine like multiple of them maybe. And then these two sets as well are definitely gonna be placed in the downtown area of our new section of the Lego city. Star Wars section is pretty well stocked. That's pretty cool to see, but there's no sales or anything new at this point. Same goes for Harry Potter. Yeah, actually so far, this target is kind of disappointing i don't see any early sets even like in the lego city section none of these are new 
too. But they do have that one set that I am after, <laughs> the Orchid. I feel like it's kind of wild to like be here just for this, but I've had my eye on it for a long time. And I was trying to find the perfect time to finally purchase it. So I think this set's the only thing I came here for, but I want to check out the bluey section as well because sometimes they have the giant bluey plushes. I haven't found one yet, but I'm still on the hunt for one. I don't see one. Womp womp. And see. All right, I checked out. I wasn't really expecting them to have early stuff. And even if they did, I don't think I could have bought it because of like street dating where at the register, they're like, no, put that back. Oh, it's so hot in Texas right now. I haven't really gotten any leads on any other early Lego sets. I saw something about Harry Potter showing up in Dallas at a Target, but that doesn't really help me here in Austin. But I don't know you guys, I'm really excited for June. Like there's so many new Lego sets coming out and I can't wait for pretty much all of them. I'm obviously not buying everything. Like there's no way that I could possibly do that. And I am so grateful that I was able to receive so many of those sets early from Lego. Cause that's such a big help obviously, but but I also love kind of showing you guys what's coming next. Plus like, I wouldn't say that only finding this set today is a loss of any kind. Like it's something that I've been wanting for a while and we've purchased probably like five or six of them at this point. We just keep giving them away because it looks really pretty. So this one's finally for me. I get my set now. This is my, my orchid. These are mine. No one else's. I want them. But I don't know y'all. I don't know if it's like the lack of sun. I mean, it's a sunny day, but it's like cloudy. I've just been really struggling with my mental health and I feel like it's really important to talk about it because it, it's not something to be ashamed of and it really sucks that there is still a stigma around it but you know just seeing more and more people talking about it and being open about it hopefully gets rid of that stigma you know like the more people talking about it the more normalized it is so yeah a little announcement um i started therapy <laughs> Woo! go emily yeah i started therapy last week i had my second session today the first session was kind of weird like i'm just not used to that like literally opening up to a stranger i guess i do that all the time online but like it was different, you know? But it was really helpful. I've gotten a lot out of it so far, especially in this last session. She gave me a lot of coping mechanisms for anxiety, which I get a lot of. Pretty much every time before I start filming a video, I'm super anxious. Before live streams, I'm kind of anxious. And just in everyday life, I'm pretty anxious. And I thought it was normal for a while, and it turns out it's not. I wish I knew that sooner. But yeah, the two main things that I'm really trying to work on are anxiety and self-esteem, which is why I wanted to get these post-it notes. My therapist told me to. And just put happy notes to yourself on on, um, write down things people have told you that have really resonated with you. And so that's what I'm planning on doing with this. I'm gonna write down a bunch of those and like put them all over my wall in my office. Apparently it's supposed to help with self-esteem. So I'm kind of excited to try it. <laughs> it is Memorial Day weekend and I'm pretty sure my in-laws are getting to our house in like 20 minutes. So I should probably head home. Ross is gonna be cooking a ton of steak. I think we're grilling twice this weekend, at least. Like minimum two times. I can't wait. Ross is a good grill master. There's still a few days till June, so I still have time to find some Lego sets early. It's just so fun. I love early Lego hunting. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys are most excited for from this whole new wave of releases. Thank you everyone so much for watching. And now let me tell you a little bit about the sponsor of this video, Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. I obviously love bright, colorful things, and it's so much fun creating the perfect brand presence for yourself through a website. You're able to stand out online as well with a beautiful website with just a few clicks. Building my website with Squarespace was the best option for me because it was easy, but also there's so many extra features that Squarespace offers, and even has the option for an online store, which is something I've been wanting to create for a while. Purchasing a domain from Squarespace is also so easy. Plus, there's no hidden fees or price hikes. I created my website and bought my domain from Squarespace and it was totally doable. Like I'm technologically challenged. If I can figure it out, y'all can as well. Also for all of you lovely artists in the Lego world, you might also love taking advantage of their portfolios and galleries. You can even add password protected pages to share private work with clients. Make sure to head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thanks everyone so much for watching. Bye.